Number one to really avoid is self-questioning and having too much doubts. Don't get caught and carried away too much by positive emotions. You feel that spark and out of whatever reason you have now something that is catching your attention which makes you lose the focus of the spark because there is just something which giving you too much of a positive feeling. Don't get lost. Don't get lost and drift apart. Don't lose your sight. At the moment we are talking about you want that spark to grow more. So that means you want something to grow, you need energy to get there. Energy is being directed by the intensity and the depths of your intention. Your intention, your focus, your concentration, your efforts, your meditation, your action, your complete way of life, your talking and your thinking should be related to making that small spark grow. And this can only be done by learning really to focus the mind. Don't distract by positive emotions, don't get distracted by negative emotions. And because all of this has something to do with investing effort, effort means you need to do something. You need to bring it out. It's not about passively waiting. There are areas in this life where you are like a passive driver. You're sitting at the back seat, somebody is driving and yeah, you can enjoy the view. But in this case, when you want to make that fire grow, you need to become the driver. This time it's switching. You are not at the back seat. You must be the one directing the thoughts, directing the actions, directing the energy. It is that uh, sloth and torpor it's called. It's like you are like heavy, mind heavy, body heavy, no motivation. That must go. You want to make that fire grow, these things must go. Yeah. And okay, now how to make something like this grow? It starts with sometimes really simple things off. Instead of lying the bed, in the bed the whole day, stand up. Instead of staying in your room the whole day, go outside in the air. Instead of just walking slowly through the park, start running through the park. Instead of running through the park, put some jumps in, put some more intensity in. So what it means is step by step, do something that you get out of the heaviness. Because it's not going to come flying. And of course you cannot expect someone to make a huge leap from one day to another. But this is why there are steps. This is why sometimes time is also on your side. Step by step. Continuity, trust in the process and trust in the universe or trust in the words. Why I'm telling you this? because sometimes it's just the action merged with the right intention which is going to bring the difference. But as long as that first spark is not there, it's difficult to make something grow if there is not that initial spark. And that one must be initiated by oneself. I do think that this society nowadays 
suffers a lot also from a lot of mental issues, let's say. Yeah? So the mental states are quite devastating, I have to say. Nevertheless, I can really only speak from the experience that I have. I'm not a psychologist. So that means sometimes only like trying to fix mental problems. I don't know. What I know is that we have many, many people that either came here to our monastery or people that are sending us the feedbacks after they are doing some type of those Shaolin trainings that we are offering. And the only thing I can tell is that in the moment where more movement, physical movement, physical engagement starts to be integrated into the daily life, something about the way how you look at the world is changing, something about the way how you feel about waking up and what is going to be in front of you is changing. And this is why that approach that we are having right now is quite simple. If you are out there and you're feeling lost and you do not have any other idea right now what to do, I can only suggest you to look for everything that is available out there and just force yourself at least for one week. You don't need to commit for 30 days, but make it at least for one week. Instead of one week doing nothing, try out every day a one hour session that is available out there. Because elsewise, I don't know. I cannot suggest you to take any medicaments, medicals. I don't know who you should go out and search for to talk to. These things may become afterwards, but something that is directly in your hands right now, especially if you have the chance to see that video right now, it means to you have access to the internet. So that means the next search would be look for a practical session involving learning how to breathe and learning how to increase your body awareness. That would be right now the easiest treatment, the easiest initiation to get something moving. The circle or the spiral. And that is exactly, uh, it's a nice picture. If every day you wake up and you are continuously encouraging yourself that your situation that you're in is the right one. Because maybe there are so many reasons. Some people feel they are misunderstood by everyone. People feel that they don't have a place in, in this world. Other people feel that they are being discriminated. There are plenty of reasons why you feel that you do not belong to, let's say, this society. The more you are talking and thinking in these terms, what's going to happen is that you're just creating more and more distance. So that spiral starts to move in one direction. But what goes for the spiral downwards also goes for the spiral upwards. And that means that it's not just that movement that I can suggest for someone to try out. But it is also to find out the small little details and the small little moments where they feel a type of belongingness again. The belongingness to something. And that's why I'm saying, either you find some individuals that are out there that share your views 
and encourage both of you at the same time. If you feel like you don't belong to the humanity, it's no problem. You might just start by looking out and get in nature with animals. As ridiculous as it sounds maybe. But some people feel more connected to animals than they feel being connected to humans. Because the way our animals and humans sometimes interact is not by words. Words that can be misunderstood. Because your definition of a word and my definition of a word sometimes can be quite different. But interacting with other beings that do not share the same language is a different one. That one is taking base sometimes on behalf of yes, your expression, your expression beyond words, which means how you feel towards something. And therefore, I also think that this is maybe a way also to get people back from that track, back from the darkness. If you feel like you're not connected to a certain part of beings, uh, no problem. There are more beings in this world. Step by step, get back and connect yourself again. First, connect to yourself then connect maybe with another being. Then connect within a group and afterwards into a community. And then this is the way how to get back on track. And while all of this process is happening, the confidence is starting to also return back. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video of Master Shihangi. This was made possible at mulliganbrothers.com. You guys were begging us to get the Not A Journal back in stock and it is finally back in stock. Use the link in the description for 10% off. Code journal at checkout. If you want to support Master Shihangi, head over to shaolin.online. Have a blessed and productive day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.